Fossils Tell of Long Ago by Aliki. Once upon a time, a huge fish was swimming around, when along came a smaller fish. The big fish was so hungry it swallowed the other fish whole. The big fish died and sank to the bottom of the sea. This happened 90 million years ago. How do we know? We know because the fish turned to stone. The fish became a fossil. A plant or animal that has turned to stone is called a fossil. Scientists can tell how old stones are. They can tell how old the fish fossil was. Nobody knows when it died. It's called a ziphinus. Wow, that's some catch. The little fossil is bigger than me. How did the fish become a fossil? Most animals and plants do not become fossils when they die. Some rot. Pee Others dry up, crumble, and blow away. No trace of them is left. This could have happened to the big fish. We would have never known it had lived. Instead, the fish became a fossil. This is how it happened. When the big fish died, it sank into the mud at the bottom of the sea. Slowly, the soft parts of the fish rotted away. Only its hard bones were left. The bones of the fish it had eaten were left too. The skeleton of the fish lay buried and protected deep in the mud. Thousands of years went by. More layers of mud covered the fish. Tons and tons of mud piled up. After a long time, the surface of the earth changed. The sea where the fish was buried dried out. The weight of the layers of mud pressed down. Slowly, the mud turned to rock. As that happened, groundwater seeped through the changing layers of mud. Minerals were dissolved in the water. The water seeped into all the tiny holes in the fish bones. The minerals in the water were left behind in the fish bones. After a very long time, the bones turned to stone. The fish was a fossil. Some fossils, like the fish, are actual parts of plants or animals that have turned to stone. Sometimes a fossil is only an imprint of a plant or animal. Millions of years ago, a leaf fell off a fern-like plant. It dropped onto the swampy forest soil, which is called peat. The leaf rotted away, but it left the mark of its shape in the peat. The peat, with the imprint of the leaf, hardened. It became a rock called coal. Coal is a fossil, too. Peat is made up of mushy, rotted leaves. We use peat in the garden to make plants grow. Look how perfect the leaf looks. Lots of other things have been found in coal, even dinosaurs. This shell was buried whole, but the scientists split the rock and the shell crumbled away. This is only its imprint. Here's the other half. These are dinosaur tracks. They were made in fresh mud 115 years, million years ago. Sand filled the dinosaur's footprints in the mud. It's an iguanodon. The sand hardened into a rock called sandstone. Millions of years later, fossil hunters dug through the rock. They found fossil tracks, exact imprints of the dinosaur's foot. These footprints tell us a lot about Iguanodon. Scientists can tell how big it was, and how fast it moved, and that it walked on two legs. Not all fossils are found in stone. Some are found in the frozen ground of the Arctic. This ancient mammoth was a kind of elephant. It froze to death thousands of years ago. The grass it had been eating was still in its mouth. The famous mammoth found accidentally in 1901 in Siberia. Part of it was showing through the melted ice. Scientists found pounds of grass and moss in its stomach. The mammoth was fresh enough to eat. I wouldn't dare. Millions of years ago, a fly was caught in the sticky sap of a tree. The sap hardened and became a fossil called amber. Amber looks like yellow glass. The fly was perfectly preserved in the amber. Other insects have been preserved in amber too. My mother has an amber necklace. Here's the fly, and a spider, ants, a cockroach. They all got stuck in the sticky sap. We have learned many things from the fish, the fern, the fly, and the dinosaur tracks. Fossils tell us about the past. Fossils tell us that there were once forests where there are now deserts, 200 million years ago, today. Fossils of these plants and animals were found in that desert. That's, that's the painted desert in the petrified forest. I've been there. Petrified means turned to stone. Wow, a fossil forest. Fossils tell us there were once seas where there are now mountains, coral, trilobite, crinoids, belemite, anamite, brachiopod. These fossils of sea creatures were found on mountains. The earth has changed a lot since then. Many lands that are cold today were once warm. We find fossils of tropical plants in very cold places. Fossils tell us about strange creatures that lived on earth long ago. No such creatures are alive today. They have all died out. We say they are extinct. 
Dinosaur bones! It's a Stegosaurus! That's a Pteranodon, the flying reptile. It's an Escythosaur. It was quite a swimmer. I love museums. Look, there's a, the fish it ate too. And they, they say never, ever, nothing ever happens in Kansas. This is a great find. Some fossils are found by scientists who dig for them. Some fossils are found by accident. You too might find a fossil if you look hard. When you see a stone, look at it carefully. It may be a fossil of something that once lived. I found this fossil at the seashore. Lucky. It says you can find the fossils in the woods too, or where they just dug a new road, or up in the mountains. We saw fossils in the marble walls of a big building. Marble is polished limestone where fossils have been found. I want to find a fossil. Would you like to make a fossil? Not a 100 million year old fossil, a one minute old fossil. Make a clay imprint of your hand. First you take some clay, then you flatten it out, then you press your hand in the clay, then lift your hand away. The imprint shows what your hand is like, the way a dinosaur's track shows what its foot was like. My handprint, you old fossil you. This is fun. Suppose when it dried out, you buried your clay imprint. Suppose a million years from now someone found it. Your imprint will be as hard as stone. It would be a fossil of your hand. It would tell the finder something about you. It would tell something about life on Earth a million years earlier. I hereby bear you fossil. Someone would know all about me, how big I am, how many fingers I have. Here lie two fossils. That I go to school and take dance lessons and play the piano and sing and read and love avocados. Ha ha ha. Every time someone finds a fossil, we learn more about life on Earth long ago. Someday you may find a fossil, one that is millions and millions of years old. You may discover something no one knows today. I wonder what people look like a million years from now. Find anything yet? The end.